In this week's episode, we are talking about Mariah's triumphant return to Madison Square Garden. We're going to be talking about the live shows and the TV specials, so stay tuned. Hey YouTube, welcome to the Mariah Report channel. Be sure to like and subscribe below and leave a comment to join the conversation. Hey, welcome back to the Mariah Report. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. We have so much to talk about this week. Mariah really gave us everything that we needed. That's right. She was back on stage in Madison Square Garden. Martin, you attended. Yes, I did. And we were able to tune in to the number one CBS primetime episode of Merry Christmas to All. I so know. we all tuned in. I know, which was so exciting that I'm glad that everybody else got to experience it too. I mean, yeah, me too, because I couldn't be there in person. So I'm really glad that I was able to at least watch it. Well, here's the thing. So like, I do want to, like, I wish I could tell you some really fun, amazing story about being at Madison Square Garden and the whole thing. But after, well, it was amazing, obviously, like, just being back and seeing Mariah back on stage and like being back in a in an arena like that with, you know, post-COVID. Um, but... Watching the special, I was like, oh, this is like as good as being there. So like, if you weren't able to be there live, the TV special was just as good. I mean, I feel like I was there live because that was some HD. Yes. And I was right up front. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like I had a front row seat and she sounded great. She looked great. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. I know. Well, from, you know, my, my couch at home. Well, re-watching it. You know, on the special, I was like, wait, am I enjoying this more than being in there? <laughs> like, I couldn't, couldn't figure out what I liked better. Well, I mean, you had the experience of being there with all the lambs. And from watching the TV special, which um, was amazing, I saw all the lambs in the audience. So you had to be lambing out there, I'm sure. You were seeing all, because it's been a while since the lambs have all been gathered. 2019, yeah. It has yeah. been a while. I mean, um, that was the last time I saw Mariah live. Yeah. yeah well, same. Same. Most most people other than a little stint in Vegas in 2020. <laughs> exactly. Uh, no, it was great seeing all the lambs. So the TV special was like a mishmash combination of like Tuesday audience and the Friday audience. So like some of those people I didn't actually see. Uh, but it was good to see those familiar faces from like, you know, the fan circles and the events. Oh my gosh, yes. I was seeing all the lambs. I mean, my my number one lamb, Terry, had had some major close-ups, girl. They were giving her moments. They uh -huh. were giving her moments. I saw a uh, friend to the show, uh, Andrew. Yes, he had a good moment. Uh, he had a good moment. I saw my lamb, Nick. I saw um, Tamar Braxton. Now, if you squint, you can see me. Okay, because I was thinking, can I see you or not? Because I did see Bobby. Okay, Bobby's so tall, I'm like halfway down Bobby because I was standing <laughs> next to Bobby. <laughs> okay, then that is you. I think I did see you because I did see Bobby, but I was like, it's hard for my TV to like pause uh -huh. for some odd reason. Um, so it, I like couldn't get it, but I was like, I watched it like 10 times. I, I'm pretty sure that's Martin right next to him. So yes. Yeah, because someone was standing in front of me. So you sort of like see the top of my head real quick. Uh huh. Yes. Then I did. I I I peeped you. I peeped you too. Okay. Yeah. So there was a lot of fan action in the audience there. Um, fun fact about Bobby, though. Speaking of Bobby, he's like the number one fan out there. He's always at the front and center. Mar so Mariah, Mariah was telling a story about throwing a diamond into the audience, right, or something like that. Uh huh. Bobby was the person that got it. How did he catch that diamond? It was first of all, it was a big fake plastic diamond. Okay, but like big, like not like a size of a uh, a baseball though. Like that's a hard catch, I think. From the photo that he showed, and we shared it on our Twitter, uh, it fit in the palm of his hand, so it was grabbable. Okay, and well, he, he's he... got the long limbs, so he can just yes, grab his. And he's up there. He's up there. So yeah. he was. <laughs> there was no one around. You weren't getting it. Exactly. No, well, I'm good. That's good. But I didn't understand why they threw the... I didn't see the throwing of the diamond. I didn't Did either. Did I miss that on mm -hmm. the special? I think that was a Tuesday night live oh, situation okay. that was That's taken fine. out of Fridays. So there were some differences between the Tuesday show and the Friday show. Okay. All right. Well, then that makes much more sense to me because I was like, well, I didn't see anybody. I remember when Rocky was um, talking about... Um, don't call his mama's diamonds fake or something like that. There was that. Uh-huh. 
but I didn't see the throwing and then like she mentioned it. But anyways, I didn't see all that. But yes, it was a combination of the two nights. So, you know, no matter what, if you were there, it was a special moment. Exactly. No, it was so good. Yes. Well, the thing about being there live is that you get to hear the power of the voice in real time. Like the TV can just never capture the actual sound when you're there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's that's obviously like the big differ- the difference between watching yeah. it at home and experiencing it firsthand. Yeah, the whole the whole Mariah energy uh-huh. you can like literally feel no matter how big the the arena or stadium is. So, yeah, yeah. Um, it was definitely a good thing to be there. If the lambs made it, they made it. And um, I know there were tons of after parties where all the lamely was gathering and getting together. Yes. Ugh, I was jealous. Very, very jealous. And if you hear me croaking and sniffling, I may or may not have caught the COVID <laughs> running the streets so much. <laughs> along oh, with no. the, Along with a bunch of other lambs might have gotten it. Not blaming Mariah, but I am dubbing this one the Mariah strain that I got. <laughs> yes. yes. It's a little but more chic. That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna fight through it. We're gonna make it through the rain because you are a hero. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, thanks to the power of vaccines, I can always I can feel that it's just so mild and clearing out pretty quick. So. Yes. All right. Uh, well, well, that's the thing. And here at CBS, okay, so everybody watched it at home. Even if they did go to the show, they watched it at home. And CBS, um, it was the number one rated show of the night. Yes. By prime far. time. Prime time. Yes, it was on, um, um, it was, it delivered almost 4 million views. That's a lot. 4 million viewers. Yes. That's just like the people sitting at home watching. Exactly. That's not even like this whole streaming of it all. I know, I know. And all that, because I've streamed, streamed it a few times since, you know, because right. I got to get, I gotta get my magnifying glass out and, you know, inspect like a good lamb. Now, this just goes to show scientific research that, you know, people act like they're hating on Mariah, but when you're in their private homes, they're turning it on and watching. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, who doesn't want to see Mariah Carey and the Christmas and the magic of, uh-huh. of it all and uh-huh. all that festiveness and the ensembles and all the favorite songs? These people know they love her. Exactly. We caught they you. We got her. you. We got the numbers now. <laughs> <laughs> and they are going to re-air it on CBS on Christmas Eve. Yeah. So there will be that. And then also on MTV, they will be playing it on Christmas Day. So there are more opportunities to see it. And I'm sure people will be tuning in. So Absolutely. I'm telling you, that. I'm the biggest CBS fan around here. I watched the morning <laughs> show, the CBS mornings with Gail and Nate. Oh, Gail King was in the audience too. She was there. Oh, she was. Yes, on the Friday I went. Oh, wow. I think there were a lot of celebrities uh, over there sort of hiding out, maybe. People were showing up for Mariah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, now, speaking of some of the celebrities, let, can we quickly talk about some of the guest appearances? Because it was from, like, what, one night and another night. Yes. Who were the guests um, Friday night when you were there? Our beloved Trey Lorenz. Oh, love. And then I think Slick Rick came out. Mm-hmm. Or did I hallucinate that? And no, no, you came out on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't remember if it was night one or two if he came out. Oh. Was he there you on the Friday? Remember. I don't know. I wasn't there, Martin. Listen, this is my first like post pandemic show at Madison Square Garden. It's enormous. There's you know, a lot of people. Lights, camera, it's action, sensors, uh, it's overstimulated <laughs> all of a sudden. <laughs> There's a lot going on. But also okay. I think he, I think he came out. <laughs> <laughs> but Jermaine was there. <laughs> I Jermaine saw Jermaine. Was yeah. Was Drew Barrymore there your night? No Drew Barrymore and no Who's Billy there? Porter. And no Billy Porter. Okay, uh-huh. so those were from um, night one, December night one. 4th. Okay. That's all right. S- all secretly, right. I'd skip the Billy Porter part and just fast forward. It? Okay, well, I was going to say the same thing. I was like, why did they waste all that time? Like, they could have put something else in there. Like, I would have been t- totally down for, like, anything. Trailer in singing. Trailer in saying his um, Jesus, what a wonderful child. My night. Oh, he did. Yeah, did the whole oh, song. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, he did. Well, isn't that what? But okay, why didn't they show that? I don't know. I don't know why Billy was called up. I don't know who got his phone number to call him to do anything. I mean, apparently, we, I don't know him that well. I know him from Pose, so like that's great. But I don't. I didn't know he was. A, I don't know that they were friends like that. Um, because Trey Lorenz normally is the one who does that little interlude uh, song, interlude song yes. in the regular Christmas shows. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't know he did it on Friday. 
Yes, oh, he did. Oh, that's fabulous. Yes, oh, he I'm did. Glad yes, he, he, got did. To, he got his moment. He did. He did. Uh, one thing I will say for like the regular people who know Mariah's Christmas shows, it, it was the first time the set list was really switched up and remixed. Yes. After absolutely. all these years. Absolutely. It was really good. So overall, I love the special. Same. Top to bottom. Beautiful. She looked glorious. It was a, it was amazing. Like uh-huh. I can watch it again and again, and it's perfect for the whole family. It is. It is. It is. Year after year. Oh, every year, every year. But th- let now let's get into a little bit of the set list. Can we do that? Yeah, let's let's let's. Super happy they kept my Hark the Herald Angel Sing opening number. Beautiful, beautiful. That whole opening section in dress number one mm-hmm. was so well done. Yes. Oh my gosh. The entrance. The snowflake entrance. Did she, did she do that snowflake entrance at the Toronto shows? Yes, I believe she did. Yes. Okay. Because, you know, I was, wasn't peeping social media, so I wasn't checking what was going on. Um, I still haven't because I just, you know, had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> right, you you want it to be in the moment because you know it's you know otherwise it's like a spoiler. You don't want to be spoiled. I know. So that was a good opening. I liked that coming down from the ceiling in the snowflake. It was perfect. It was magical. I mean, that's how the Queen of Christmas arrives exactly. to Madison Square Garden. Yes, yes, it was amazing. It was amazing. I love that. Um, the the uh, other songs in that section were all like sort of how they normally go. Yes. Um, but she added Sleigh Ride and I loved it. Same. Great addition to the set list. It needs that kind of like fun moment in that spot. Mm-hmm. So that was perfect. It Transferred perfect. live perfectly as well. Like great on stage. Sing along moments for the crowd. Yes. Get people bopping along, doing it. I'm so glad she added that to the set, set list. Yes. Um, and then the other magical moment that she added was um, the moment with Miss Monroe. Okay, that was super away cute. in the manger. That was super cute. Yes. I'm actually going to have to, like, that's something I need to go and study more over and over because, like, the intro to the way in the manger is really interesting to me. And I need to look into the, what that is because it's a particular sound. From when you were there or like from the TV? No, the, the selection of music that she chose for that. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I, I haven't to... listened to that song in forever, so I don't know how it normally is supposed to go. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think it opens like that. I think she that's her version of it. Oh, like she sort of like did redid the intro. I think so. She Mariahized it. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Well, you know, when Mariah takes a, any song, she makes it her own. Yeah. So that, but that was a beautiful little moment. Monroe, uh, adorable, super cute, great little voice on her. They both had. They were both singing with sort of like that airiness. Yes. Uh, loved it. She got the chops, Monroe. Well, she's learning from the best, learning from the best. That that was just so, so cute. It was. I was totally into the moment. They both look great. Monroe looked cute on stage. Um, Sweet, sweet family moment. Loved it. Now, on the CBS special, right after that, that's when Billy Porter comes out. And I'm like, where did this come from? Uh So I was confused. Uh Um, You were probably confused, too, because you didn't know. (laughs) <laughs> yes, he wasn't there when you were there. <laughs> exactly. I had known, yeah. I had heard he was there. I didn't realize how much he was doing. I thought he just handed her that award, the plaque. Yes. Yes. Um, but that wasn't even that wasn't on your night, was it? No, that didn't happen. No, that was on the first night. Uh-huh. Um, but they handed her, they presented her with that award um for 12 million copies of All I Want for Christmas is You sold. Yeah. 12 million. I know. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Only Mariah, honey. Only Mariah. So they had those special moments, and then we sort of segue into the second portion. Yes. Um, or I guess you would call it maybe Act Two. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. If you're changing the dress, it's a different act. Exactly. <laughs> and it's um, the Rockettes, right? No. When does that We're happen? Later? Here. That happens later. What, what are you doing? Red dress now? Red dress. Okay, red dress. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I gotta get my sections right in my brain <laughs> hey it, listen it, you're still uh you know unfolding on all of this it's, it was a big night i know i know okay so red dress 
Okay, when I saw the red dress in person, I did change my mind about it. I wasn't sure about it when I saw photos on Instagram and, you know, the socials. Because then I'm thinking, oh, God, another gown. Here we go again. Right. But in real life, it looked really good. Like, it was amazing. I uh, I was not there in person, but I concur with that. At first, I was thinking that red dress, uh, it's not my favorite. I've seen better. I don't know why. Like, blah, blah, blah. But when you see it on television uh-huh. and you see the detail in it, just like you could see you know, up close there in person, like, wow, it's a stunner. It is. It is. It's a gorgeous dress. Well, I realized, it took me a minute, It's it looks like Santa's... Um, cape or something like yeah, mm-hmm, she just mm-hmm. rolled out of Santa's bed and put it on. <laughs> yeah, it came like, out on stage like, like a very rich, uh, very rich Santa dress. It very is. Rich. That's what it is. <laughs> but you know, there are other little things about it. Uh, uh, just like uh, the fact that it was strapless yes. and like the whole, you know, I guess breast line of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just love that whole section and then the huge train and everything like that. And then, like, she could just, you know, it was maybe not the best dress to move around in, but that's okay because she was giving us the power ballads, this exactly. the power ballad section. Right. Uh huh. No, I agree with you. When I saw it on TV, that's when I really loved it more because you see the crystal detailings. Mm-hmm. Yes. That looked really yes. pretty. It's really nice. But coming out in that dress, she, I think she did like the unthinkable in it. <laughs> She's I... saying. <laughs> She did. She gave us Missy most, finally. Oh, that was the big moment. And what I loved is that um, Mariah did a little, you know, talk up to it. She did. <laughs> to let people know that uh, that she is out here listening to us lambs. Because remember last year she did a poll, or not last year, but like, you know, years, last time she was at Madison I think it's 2019, Square Park, yeah. Um, she did a poll asking what we wanted to hear her perform and the most uh, requested song was Miss You Most and she did not do it. Right. This, she did. And she was like, see, I wasn't lying to you. <laughs> well, someone on Twitter called her out because they were, she did another poll this year and they were like, this is more how Mariah finds out what not to sing <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> something like exactly. that. And she responded. Yeah. So she got the memo. <laughs> she definitely did. I loved it. I love those cute little moments. But let's talk about Miss You Most really quickly. Because, of course, she does all, like, the power ballads. She does the Oh Holy Night. Yep. She does the When Christmas Comes, yep. all those types of good things. Those are great moments. But this particular Miss You Most was stunning. Now, on television, I was I was in awe. Uh-huh. I think her voice was perfection. The tone has, like... It, it, it's not changed I know. since 1994. I know. I know. Like, are you kidding me? That, well, that's when I start thinking, like, what was the prob? Yeah, why haven't you been singing this this whole yeah. time? <laughs> it's like, hello, girl, this is magical. It's It really is such a lovely song. And, like, I don't know, for me, I feel like it, it's, it's a Christmas song, but it's not really a Christmas song. It's not, like, you know... Mm-hmm. Festive it's, Christmas, it's more of like subdued. And yeah. I like that. No, same. It, it's, um, it hasn't got like that Christmas um, sparkle, I guess. Like it is like a serious Christmas song. Yeah. I think it, it's great. I think she should have been singing it in the set list this whole time. But I know. I'm glad that she finally did it this time. And, and we got it on tape, girl. We got it on tape. The good tape, too. <laughs> I know. D. Yeah. Good tape, good dress, good hair, good everything. I know, but now that that has happened, I'm like, what are we going to nag her about? Nothing. I, know. <laughs> I mean, what, now what are we? Now what do we want her to sing? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but it was a very special moment uh, for all the lambs because we've been dying to hear that song live for so long, and I really didn't think she was going to do it. But you know, if Same. anyone's if anyone's going to prove you wrong, it's going to be Mariah. Yeah, well, she crumbled, finally. <laughs> Thank she you. gave it. Yeah. And we appreciate it, because I, I do love it. Um, so that was Act 2, and that was great. Love and that too. then we move in to Act 3, which is with the Rockettes okay. and the Silver Dress. So my night, I had no Rockettes. <gasps> Wait, what? I know. Gr- Wait, why? I know. What? 
They, no. were, they were booked and busy. They had their own show to go to. Oh, girl, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, so what anything Rocket you're seeing is the Tuesday show. Wait a minute, then why? What? Well, now I gotta rewatch that. <laughs> but it looked amazing. Oh my god! I thought it was an amazing That's, visual. Oh, I thought it was stunning. I think that was one of the best performances. Yes. So what did she do? Like, what did you see when you were there? Just Mariah bopping around. <laughs> Just bopping around in a little, yeah. little dress. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, see, no, uh, the Rockettes was everything. Okay, all right, secretly, so what happened was, after the red dress moment, I was like, oh, now's my chance to get a drink. So I was getting a drink when Osanta came on, but at, when you at the bar, it had the TV screen, so you can, like, see uh-huh. what's going on. So I was like, oh, cute, Osanta, whatever, I've seen this. Uh-huh. It was just her, there's no, like, Ari, Jihad moment. Nothing. Yeah, no collab moment. Uh, so I'm just like watching her, and then I like walk back in. She's still doing it. I felt like I didn't miss anything because I've seen that her do that before. Oh at, yeah, at well Beacon. if the Rockettes weren't there, then yeah, then cut to the TV. I'm like, what the hell is this? This is so much better. This is amazing. No wonder you were like, wait a minute, is this <laughs> is a CBS special better than the actual show? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Let's see what I mean. Like there, th- yeah. like it's as good as being there. Oh my goodness! No, I thought they were like a a, a thing for like that Friday night. No. I didn't even realize it was the other way around. No, but no. I guess it makes sense. Um, but let's talk about it for a moment because on the television, honey, those Rockettes added so much to that song and that yes. whole performance. Right, that was a whole TV spectacular moment. The Rockettes, yeah. Madison Square oh. Garden, New York City, Mariah. Like that's it. That is it right there for me. I mean, she was really giving us everything we wanted this year. I yes. mean, here we are. We got Miss You Most. We got the Rockettes. We got yes. Gorgeous Gowns. We have amazing vocals. I mean, she is serving us everything. Right. Everything. And Yes. And also, like, no need to, like, worry about dancing. She can just do her knee bop, move over here, move over there. Let mm-hmm. someone else dance, like the Rockettes. Yes. Oh my God, it was so well done. So yes. well done. So perfect. Oh my gosh. I'm the really visual of that. it all. Yeah. I mean, my goodness. Like, that's now a, possibly a favorite Osanta performance up, uh, all the uh, way up there. Girl, I'm telling you, Mariah, she did it. She did it. So that was, it was super cute. That was, that was a good moment. That was great. And then moving on from there, we do, that's where Jermaine comes out. Or, 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 well, um, the little uh, Miss Monroe. So now the kids. We got the kids are out. We got Miss Monroe um, with her little rock guitar. And then what was different from the Toronto shows and the Madison Square Garden shows was the video of Mariah. They didn't show that until Madison Square Garden. So oh. she, we're in the red lipstick and, like, you know, she's singing in the back. I love that moment. That Excuse was me. Can we, like, talk about how that is the whole show right there? <laughs> <laughs> I was obsessed after seeing that. Were you gagged? First of all, I was so obsessed. I didn't even realize Monroe was on the stage. I oh really? <laughs> until like the next day, I was like, "Oh, Monroe was there." Oh, that, oh that's Monroe. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I was like looking straight at the screen, gagged out by the whole situation. Uh, the oh new my God, song, great. A whole new rock song. I'm hearing Mariah's voice completely differently as like yep. a rock song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the visuals, amazing, and they're brand new, which what have we been saying about her concerts forever? The concert needs to have its own unique experience, like create moments for the concert. Yes, absolutely. That was so great. I mean, that song was stuck in my head. Yes. I mean, the visuals were perfect. I'm, and I didn't even need Mariah out on the stage for that because the visuals no. were perfect. Thoroughly entertained. Very entertained. Highly entertaining. That's yeah. That's magic right there. That's how you do it. That's how you do a transition, a dress transition. Thank you much. Thank you much. That's, That's what we've been it. saying for years. <laughs> <laughs> so that was another highlight of the show. So she's giving us everything we want, plus things we never even expected. Yes. Because I would have never expected that. Ever. No, but I also need that song on streaming too now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that needs to be on the playlist right. for sure. Put it out there immediately. Yeah. I love it. For real. And put the lyric video, put that video on the YouTube too. Yes. Because that's cute. Super cute. 
was giving me vibes. I was I was vibing. <laughs> yes. I really was girl vibing. <laughs> I know. Uh, so, uh, so that was so, so, that so was the show's fun. going great so far. Yes, we're loving. <laughs> we're loving everything. <laughs> Um, and then, we, so we have the little kids have their moment. Rocky comes out. They do a little thing on on the thing. Did they do that whole thing when you were there on Friday? Yes, yes. That little thing happened. Little Rocky skit, yes. Which I still didn't under quite understand, but it's okay. We can skip that. Fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but then here comes Santa Claus. Now, yes. how was that in, in um, person for you? Because for me... I could have skipped that. We could have cut that out. Oh, I liked... No, I thought it was a fun moment just to, like, switch up the vibe. Okay. I think it's just... I mean, it's a classic song. I mean, here's the thing. I don't think I've ever really liked that song. I just yeah. don't like the song. Not, it's not her. It's not... It's, I don't need all of that. I don't know. I like, I, I like that... I, well, I like that Slick Rick was there. And I liked his rap, yeah. too. It was cute. Okay, the rap was good. Yeah. I was like, well, leave it to him to come up with something real good. A real cute sound. Christmas rap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he, he would call it cute, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I thought it was a fun whatever, moment. I was whatever adjective yeah. he wants to use. Yeah. I was into it. You know, that Santa starts throwing out merch into the audience. Yes. Yes. That's all. I mean, when you're there, especially at the Beacon shows, it was a fun moment because, yes. like, there is the gift throwing out and stuff like that. Were they throwing, like, snowballs or something as well from the yes stage. there were like a couple of little like um i don't know what you call them like made of Fo- like cotton cotton yeah you don't want to put no one's eye out no 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 <laughs> just like fluffy balls <laughs> yeah of course so that was i mean it's cute moments all around cute moments all around yeah um and then that sort of leads us into and this is where I think they filled up a lot of time because my whole worry is like I've seen all of Mariah's Christmas shows and they're only about maybe an hour long. She's, you know, but this is where she really extended like her normal discography portion. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, cause normally we'll get like a emotions, a um we belong together hero. Right. This time she gave us a whole slew of songs, and I thought it was perfect for the television because that the audience wants that they want that too yeah 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 so i love that she threw all of that kind of stuff in and of course so she comes out with the big energy fantasy remix all right now listen again this is also the show too because now we're at the mariah carey show yes and we love that it's love but also the previous versions of the christmas concerts she always sort of sticks to the same songs and there's just three of them Mm mm-hmm and it's the standards, like Emotions, We Belong Together, and Hero. Hero, yeah. Which we love all of them. Love, but you know, after 20 times, you're like, okay. Well, imagine how Mariah feels. <laughs> well, no one made her do it. But I'm just saying. that's not my point. The point is, this was a, this new section and more, more regular songs was so much fun. S- exactly. So much fun. They were, and it was the perfect mix of everything we wanted to hear because it gave us old songs, it gave us new songs, it gave us up tempo, it gave us slow. Yes. That was like the perfect little Mariah mini concert. Of and like long. Mariah. It was long. It was. Yeah. It was. That was a huge portion of the show. And I was digging all of it. All of it. Every second of it. Yeah. I'm obsessed with Big Energy Fantasy now. That's her song. Yeah. Oh, I love it. When she does her little, oh, loved it. And I can't do fantasy without the Lotto intro anymore. I need Mariah no. doing that all the time. I, want, I agree. I agree. I yeah. want more. Yeah. Uh, Honeybreaker, Total Jam. We're getting two for one. Two for one deal. We've been loving that since she debuted that uh, just over this past summer. Super fun we in real life. It. Super fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. my all was the gag. Oh, ooh. Ah, ooh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, that was the gag. We have a dancer come out, which was quite, mm-hmm. to me, I was like, <gasps> scandal. Came out like oh. with his chest all out in those high pants. Uh-huh. Dancing uh-huh. and twirling all around her. Uh-huh. No, I loved it. But it was great to hear my all there. Oh, yes. Oh, for sure. Adding in another one of those classic Mariah songs that everyone's going to love. Yes. And that's the thing. Like, when we heard the news that this had been number one on CBS with so many viewers, the other port part of that that people don't really understand of how TV ratings works is that it continued to gain and hold the viewership. 
a lot of people will like switch around or like every half hour, oh, my show comes on at 930. So I'll watch Mariah until 930. And then I'll go somewhere else. But every half hour, it continued to hold and gain audience members. And Uh I think this is one of the reasons why, because the show was perfectly planned out set list wise and musicality wise, song wise. So when you hear my all, you're, you're not going anywhere. Uh huh. You're not flipping the channel. No way. Now there's a half naked, half handsome man. Uh huh. Exactly. We're not, we're not leaving this. <laughs> no. no. What do we always say? The flowation. The flowation is great. Yeah. The whole thing. And that is key. That is key. And I loved it. Another thing, just about um, the dancers in general, all the dancers were great. I love the tap dancing moment. Love. I love. I even love the kids' dancing moments. Those kids were the cutest kids. I was watching them on the stage in person. I was like, who the hell are these kids? They're adorable. (laughs) And doing like, but great, like professional entertainers. Yes. Yes. So that was entertaining. I saw a lot of, um, not a lot, but a few new male dancers. Yes. That I had my eye on a couple of them. I was like, all right, Mariah. Yes. I see, I see what she's given us, but just the whole slew of dancers. The choir came out multiple times for multiple performances. Uh-huh. Amazing. Do you know Amazing. what think, do you just click to me? What? You know, Mariah's been living here in New York lately. I uh-huh. think we like auditioned New York dancers. Yes. They're local high talent dancers. Girl, cream of the crop. Yeah, no yeah. offense to our, our Atlanta friends. I mean, we love everybody. But maybe, love everybody. <laughs> yeah. Do you know we what I mean? All the dancers, that dancer, this dancer, every love, dancer. Love, love. Um, but but we've got a good really, batch. This- well, I think, you know, uh, actually, if you really think about it, because we know that Debbie Allen was involved here. Uh-huh. I think Debbie Allen works with a lot of young dancers. So I think she helped corral a lot in audition. Not corral is not the right word, but. Wrangle. You know, <laughs> wrangle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the proper dancers for this kind of show because um, she works with dancers from all over. She, so I think we have we have Debbie Allen to thank for the amazing dancing, as well as uh, Brian Tanaka, who's also sure. creative director there. Exactly, and choreographer. So, well, Debbie Allen will have the phone number to you know the people who know exactly, exactly. And you know, bringing out that dancer sort of reminds me of I think it was the Charm Bracelet show where when she did my all there was like in the background there were dancers sort of doing a flamenco or tango type of style of dance Uh so it was giving me throwbacks to those moments yes which i loved yes 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 very 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 fabulous no it was amazing it was great yeah um they did it's like that what came next what what came next after that it's like that it's like that that was super fun i was happy to hear it again it's been so long if jermaine's there why not why not? We can give it a throw in. Yeah. No, because here's the thing. Like, at this stage, like, my brain, we're back in the Emancipation of Mimi era. Uh-huh. The good uh-huh. old days. Riding high. Oh, yes. So I was always happy high. to see it's like that. I was like, hey, what's up? It's like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was into it. We do love It's Like That. She gave us It's Like That. Then she went into Emotions, which is always a, a crowd pleaser. She yeah. sounded great on that. Um... um Make it happen. Oh gosh, make it happen. You know that's one of my favorites. That's your jam. That. I'm down, honey. I love it. She brought the choir out. The choir's there. Might as well use them. Honey, put put them to work. Are they getting paid? Put them to work. (laughs) Put them to work, girl. Absolutely. And then the showstopper fly like a bird. Uh, That's like that was the moment. That was the moment. Uh Uh-huh. And it was so again, every song she picked for this little Mariah mini segment. I don't think I don't think there's anything that I am missing from it. Same. I'm not thinking like throw this in. Perfectly no, curated. I, mm-hmm. Perfect. And she was into it. Yes. And she was moving. I felt I I mean, I felt the energy. Uh-huh. So again, a fabulous job. Exactly, exactly. Yep. Uh and then our favorite, We Belong Together. She came out. She did a great. She did a great job on the We Belong Together. It's a good one. It, you know, in that crowd, the crowd goes nuts. Absolutely for it. Yeah, and of course you got to. It's it's the perfect sort of like start like to lead up to 
all I want for Christmas. Because again, here we go with the um, sort of emotions, make it happen. But then we get the we belong together. Pump them up. Get them excited. We, we get the hero. The hero was a good hero. Was a good hero. And then, of course, we get the finale, all I want for Christmas is you. But before we get to the finale of that, can I also give a shout out mention earlier in the show when she was doing Joy to the World? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Because we cannot forget how she gave us that little remix moment. Yes. Um, live the, from... David, what's, what's the, the David um, Morales... It was the David Morales remix moment. Yeah, but what's the church she performed at? The church was the St. John the Divine. The St. John the Divine. Us all the joy the, to the world moments. A nod. Just give you a little nod to that moment. I was loving it. I wanted... I actually, during that part, I wanted more. <laughs> like, that I wanted... That could have gone on longer. You go and you got to do all the versions of it, girl. Remember when she did all the versions of fantasy or, yes. or like do all the versions of Joy to the World? Yes. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> I love that she did that. So I just wanted to mention before we start to close out the show. Yes. No, I agree. It was all, everything was good. There's so many good moments. It's hard to like keep track. Of how exactly. Good. Right. Um, but then finally we get the, all I want for Christmas is you, the final ensemble change. Cute. I think it was stunning. It was like, I loved all the, um, again, in the nutcracker version yep. or variety of it, but I loved the shoulders. I loved like the, the chains that were hanging from it worked perfectly. Yep. Like, it Look good was... on the TV too. We should do the mm -hmm. handography. Yes. Yes. We love that. <laughs> yes. I loved it. It was great. It was, um, that was really cool, like, in the moment, because you can't, like, it's hard to see it on the, or capture the moment on the TV, but, like, the snow cannons went off and threw white confetti everywhere. Um, and so, like, turning around and, like, seeing it snow in Madison Square Garden, that was that was such a wild visual to experience. Yeah, I, that's why you got to go there. Uh-huh. That's why you have to be there. It's for those moments, because it's, like, it wasn't just on the stage. That was in the whole entire place. Like, it yeah. was snow. And so. When I, so after the concert, like me and a bunch of the lambs went and got some drinks afterwards. I got home the next morning. My floor is covered in that confetti. Like it was just oh. on me. <laughs> <laughs> like it was stuck to me and it came like, off. Where did all this snow come from? I don't know what it was. Like it was, I was like, when, I didn't even see it on me. So I'm like, where did this come from? Oh my God. Like, how did it get in here? <laughs> Yeah, well, bringing parts of Mariah shows home with you. It's like, remember when the butterflies? But we would literally be those wanting, you could, like grab and put in your pocket. Those, those. Your <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's how much of a snow show she put on. It was so good. It was. It was, it was cute. It was a, a very fabulous uh, finale uh, to the show. She brought everybody back out on the stage. Yeah, everybody was loving it. The choir, all the singers, the dancers, the rockettes. Everybody back out on the stage for those final moments of a great classic song. Twelve million copies sold. I know, I know. Um, well, in the TV special, like the, where there's fun snippets of the fans outside as well. That is that one young uh -huh. woman who was like really fanned out at the end. And she's yeah. become a, a Instagram, Twitter <laughs> sensation. So, yeah, fun, top to bottom. I mean, I love seeing those fan moments. Um, of like their reaction to the show after they leave and everything. Cause it's like, just uh, you're on, uh, you're on a Mariah high. Uh-huh. And, and even just me watching it from home, I was on a Mariah high and I wasn't even at the show. Oh, same. So and was, I had, I, mean, I was at the I, show re watching it. I was back on a Mariah high. <laughs> it was really, really fabulous. And I am so glad that I was able to tune in. Cause I'll be tuning in a lot more now that it's on streaming. So yeah. I cannot wait. Uh, no, I thought the special was great. And again, like what you saw on the special was basically, or if not better, than what was at the concert if you were there on the night. Like nothing was cut, nothing was rearranged out of order. Um, the vocals, that was those were the vocals. Like the, I'm glad they didn't try and do any tricks with the vocals on the uh -huh. TV. Uh, uh -huh. Like sure, it's a mish, uh, cut up between Tuesday and Friday, but that's what she sounds like. Yeah, and that was pretty much the show laid out. Yeah, like I mean, live again, vocals. It was great. You know, there's there's a lot of talk about like, oh, the hair looked this way and then that way, but like, uh, we're it's television, okay? Uh -huh. There were two nights here. Like, th that's the least of the things we should be worrying about. The show overall, from beginning to end, was what the Lamely have been waiting for. Exactly. Yes, she gave us everything and more. 
um what did the girl say um the mic was on uh uh-huh. it was it was on <laughs> Yeah, so it was, it was a fun time. It was a great show to watch, and I, I, I'm sure it was even better to be there in person. So, no, fabulous. Fan, uh, super fun, Mariah, event. I uh, really don't have any many critiques. Of course, we can nitpick things, um, but, you know. Overall, Star started spectacular. Loved it. Absolutely, absolutely. I'll be watching it again. I'll be watching it for years to come, so... Thank you, Mariah, for giving us some magical Mariah Christmas moments this season. I know. So much. So I feel like I'm in the spirit of Christmas, finally. Yes, finally. Finally, right? <laughs> I mean, listen, if it weren't for Mariah, I wouldn't even have a, a Christmas tree in my house now because I was like, I'm going to do a whole thing. I'm going to get a Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm going to watch Mariah. I'm going to decorate the Christmas tree while I watch Mariah, and it's going to be like good times. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And I was like, what am I? Some festive Christmas elf or something? <laughs> I'm crazy. Well, it looks gotta, good. It looks good. Well, <laughs> it's listen, uh, decorating a Christmas tree this late in the season, you're like, you know, you're uh, picking up scraps from here and there, but it does uh-huh. look good. Thank you. Well, speaking of late in the season, it's coming to the end of the Mariah Report 2022 season, and we want to hear from you. We do this every year. It's always really fun for me and Dan to hear our listeners' favorite moments of the Mariah year gone by. So, if you want to join in the fun, please send us an email uh, by going to well, emailing a voice memo or a video of your favorite Mariah moment of 2022 and tell us why. And we will play it right here on the show. And you can send it to MariahReport at gmail.com. Check the show notes. Uh, we have it linked there too. Um, and that's going to be coming up next week. So get them in quick. The time is approaching. Yes, I want to hear what everyone's favorite moments were. Were you at Madison Square Garden? I want to hear. Were you uh, loving the master class? Uh-huh. I want to hear. I want Lotto. to hear. I want to hear it. Oh, oh, the big energy. Were you enjoying the B? The magazines, the photo shoots, the uh, interviews. Uh-huh. <laughs> TV appearances. So, yes. Oh, she was all over the Global place. Global Citizen. Ah. So many moments. things. So many things. So tell us what you enjoyed. And um, I can't wait to hear next week. And uh, we will be back then. Absolutely. And in the meantime, don't forget to hit the follow button on your favorite podcast app so you can get notified about new episodes when they come out. And that also helps the show grow and supports us uh, if you do that. So just remember, hit follow real quick or leave an Apple, Apple podcast review. That also helps the show. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e B. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.